Hey guys, this is Dave, and this video is about home charging options, so stick around. Okay, so the first thing we need to talk about is what plugs come with your car. Well, the first one is, and this is your basic 110, 120 volt house plug, and let's talk about what kind of charging speed you get with this. This adapter here is your J1772, and this comes with your car for charging at non-Tesla superchargers like charge points and so on. And this one is your NEMA 1450. This plug can be used from 30, 40, and even up to 50 amps. Dude, are we gonna go show them, or yeah. are you gonna sit here and just talk about Fine. the plugs? All let's right, go let's show them how to work, all right? All right. Boom, boom. I gotta stop doing that. All right, so here we have our NEMA 1450 outlet plug, and here we have a electrician installed. You can do it yourself if you have that talent. I don't. 1450 outlet that goes up into the attic and into our laundry room and he hooked up a switch so I could put dryer or I could put car so I put on the car we have power now so the charge part uh, charge cord that comes with it you'll see this is where you have the adapters so you can put your 110 you can put the Nemo you can put a dryer one they're all about $35 a piece I think on the uh, Tesla website so you just plug this in Plug it into the wall, make sure it's in tight, and then you have power and now you can charge the car. That's about it. Okay, so now that we have power to our box from hitting the switch, you just take your cord, your charge cord, which I think is about 15, 20 feet long. You just press this button here, automatically opens the charge port, plug it in, the light's blue. As soon as it starts charging, you'll see it turn to green. And there you go. Now the car is charging. Now we'll take you inside the car to see what the screen looks like. So what you'll do with the J1772 charger adapter is this is not used. So the charge point, say you go to a charge point, that fits onto here. That clips right onto that and it snaps and then this goes into your car so you could charge. And you'll get from a charge point about the same as I'm getting with home with a 30 amp plug running at 24 amps. So about 24 to 25 miles an hour. Okay, so here's inside the car looking at the screen. You'll see that I have 148 miles currently. So I'm charging, it'll be about two hours and 35 minutes to get up to 90% is what I have the set limit to at 25 amps. So now I have a 30 amp plug, which it says 32, but I guess it's a 30 amp plug. And you could change the current and you could bring it down or bring it up, but you never want to do more than 80% of your amperage. So I usually go around 24 and sometimes I push it to 25. So, and you could schedule your charging, which I do usually most of the time. I start charging at like 10 p.m. So it's a lower kilowatt, kilowatt rate. But for now, just for this demo, I'm going to leave it charge. And then you could also change your limit. So you'll see this daily trip. So this will be 100%. This will be 90. This will be 80, 70, and so on. So I do it at 90, which is recommended by Tesla, on a daily charge. And you can do 100% if you're going on a trip. And you'll see this will go up to about 24 miles per hour with a 30 amp circuit set to 80 percent which is about 24 25 amps now if you have a short or small commute or maybe work from home and you don't need anything but the 110 outlet a regular house outlet that'll charge here at about four to five miles per hour so for this would probably take about maybe seven eight hours if you were down to like 10 20 percent and wanted to go to 90 percent it could take as much as 23 24 hours so keep that in mind when you do your calculations based on how much charge you need per day for usage and that's about it and then when you're done charging or charging is complete you just hit this button pull it out and the door will automatically shut by itself 
and then you're ready to start driving. All right, so in summary for home charging options, you could use your 110 slash 120 regular house plug, but you'll only get about four to five miles per hour, so it'll take a long time. Or you could tap into your breaker box if you have any available spots for a 30, 40, or 50 amp breaker. Or, like in my case, which I didn't tell you before, I have an older house. I had no open breaker spots, so I had to get the electrician to tap into my existing 30 amp dryer outlet and put a switch on it so I could go back and forth and using the same circuit. So that worked out for me, and that one you would use your 1450 adapter, the NEMA adapter. Then, of course, there's an even more expensive option. If you have a 50 amp breaker, but I think it could go up to 80 amps, if you purchase a $500 Tesla wall charger, and I think those with a 50 amp circuit will give you a good 32 to even 40, if you have like an 80 amp circuit, uh, miles per hour. So that's really good. And then of course, this is a home charging options video, but there's always superchargers all over the world, all over the country, that you could use at any time. And if you use my referral code in a link below, when you purchase your car, you'll get a thousand free miles of supercharger charging. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment for any other videos you want to see. See you next time.